Once upon a time, there's a man named Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King grew up to be a great man, of course. But things weren't all that great in the world while he was growing up. Not everybody was treated like they were somebody. People looked at the color of their skin, and that's how they decided if they were friends or not. That didn't make him feel good. That didn't make anybody feel good. He helped a lot of people learn about love, too. But still, he looked around and said, things should be better. He wanted to change things. He decided, instead of spreading the hate, he would spread the love. He wanted to bring people together. Where people were hurting, he stepped in to help. He marched with them. He walked with them. He walked arm in arm with everyone. Sometimes it didn't go well, but he kept going. Sometimes he ended up in prison, but he kept going. Some people didn't like him, but he kept going. Some days were hard, but he kept going. Love does that, it just keeps going, even when things are dark. And, well, I don't like this part of the story, but things did get pretty dark. Someone who didn't agree with him, shot him. He died in April 1968. It happened, I don't like that happened. Now I gotta tell you something. When things aren't awesome, it can be tough. And things will always be awesome. But your response can be. Martin Luther King's response, it was awesome. Today I just wanted us to think about this. Isn't it cool that we can change things? Like any of us, anybody. He dreamed and he changed things. And he dreamed and he kept sharing his dreams. They became not just his dream, a lot of people's dream. Let's dream like that. That could change things. to a traditionally black um, high school and historically black college. <clears throat> and so interactions and so forth um, with other people of other uh, nationalities and so forth uh, were somewhat limited at that time. I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. He had a monstrous dream and I think that the success of today's people, whether it's uh, following the dream of Martin Luther King or trying to make his dream a reality in, in the United States, I think that if we take all of his things that he said and use those things collectively, then we can more better achieve this dream. He's a very, very, very brave, um, man who took on the task of trying to educate the world not just you know us here in the united states and so forth but the world as a whole you know about what equality really means and how it should be achieved and and achieving it not through violence but through peaceful means and dialogue and sitting down and getting to know one another and just respecting each other's rights as human beings. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream. Wherever he went, where it was segregation, he brought us from that to um, uh, narrow it down to where there's there's no popularizing of segregation. So he brought us from here to there, and he did it with within years that we would say, "Wow, that's a short amount of time to achieve that amount of success." I mean, he would be somewhat pleased with the progress that has been made, especially since this nation has um, put a 
person of color in the White House, you know, and a very honorable person of color in the White House who has represented, you know, us very, very well in the long run. Because I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. The difficulty that we have with young people today in getting along and that sort of thing and that sort of thing is they don't speak the same language. And if you have uh, diversity uh, of, of languages and cultures, then you have the, how do you get these people to talk? If, if they can't, if the English people can't speak the same language and get along by using the same language and understanding each other, how are you gonna do that between different cultures? One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. We're hearing a lot uh, in the news about things that are, you know, really things that we want, don't want to continually hear, but as long as it keeps happening, we need to keep hearing it and keep talking about it. And we need more people probably to step up and try and do something about it as part of the discussion in a peaceful means. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. From every mountainside, let freedom ring and when this happens, and when we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last.